Alrighty, folks. Time to crack the water pump off. There we go. There goes. Oh, that's nasty looking water. Yeah, that's not good. That's nasty looking. Right down into the old oil pan she goes, folks. <laughs> Never fear, we got a shop back for that. And we'll do many, many oil changes in the process, too. Look at that. Look at that. That's some nasty coolant. But anyway. There we go. Now we're going to take that one bolt off and we'll see what the impeller looks like. We're going to do the oil pump too so we're not too worried about things. Ready? Ready. Set. Any pieces? Do you see pieces? The seal so far. Did we lose the impeller in the process? Or did we catch it before it broke? Oh Lord, not even broken. It was caught before it got bad. We are in luck. Look at the seals in here. Coolant went through the through the weep holes. Is where it went. There's the one weep mm. hole right here, and then we got the other weep hole that is around here. So that's the other weep hole right here. See that weep hole right there, and then. Yep. She's oh, bent. Man, that turns hard. She's bent. Oh, it is, isn't it? They yep. have impellers. It's all cockeyed. It's, you know, it's because the shaft is torqued. Yeah, the shaft is like really bad shape. So. Wow. Anyway, but what I was fearing was these breaking here, and uh, that didn't happen. So. 330,000 miles. That there, folks, is what happens just goes to show you can take care of them and ultimately they all fail you know pretty much like uh us ultimately we all fail so uh that is that is where it's at that is where we're going and we're going to clean everything up and uh, there ain't much we'll just clean the surfaces up uh, we'll suck out all the garbage down there. That's some pretty nasty coolant. Uh, mixing. You can see how it was mixing. So, yep. I think we saved the engine, though. I really do. And we'll go ahead and uh, I guess we'll shop back that out. We were really wanting to see what that oil pump was. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of residue in there. So we'll probably, after we get it all put back together, she's probably going to need a, need a pressed stone flush and clean and drain multiple times with some distilled water and then, then rejuvenate it. That would be the best way to do it. But otherwise, uh, I think that's it for now. Uh, now we got to start putting everything back together. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos, and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.